This video is to show you how to get game saves on your PS3 without the need of resigning them. Hope you all enjoy. Alright ladies and gentlemen, today I'm going to show you how to turn an Xbox 360 game save into a PS3 game save. Now I understand this might be boring for some, but a lot of people actually want this. So I'm going to show you how to achieve this. First, you're going to need four items. You're going to need a USB stick, you're going to need Modio, you're going to need Brute Force Save Data, and you're going to need the Gib Save Editor. Okay? First, we're going to download the Xbox 360 game save. It's going to come into something like this. Then, you're going to open Modio. Once Mario is open, you're going to look for your game save. You're going to go into open a save. Now, I'm going to scroll down until I find the save I'm looking for. It's right here. Now, once my save is loaded into Mario, I'm going to right click and I'm going to extract it. And I'm just going to save it. Okay? Now, here's my extracted game save right here. Now, to make this work on the PS3, you're going to need to do a couple things. First, you're going to need to open the Gib Editor. I also have a tutorial on how to get the Gib Editor and Brute Force working on your PC. It's in my Everything You Need file. I'll leave the link in the description below. Okay, now, once Gib Editor is open, you're going to need to press Open. Now, go to Desktop, because that's where I'll put everything. And see where it says Save Game dot Save. Hit Xbox 360. click open. Now, as you can see, we're opening the Xbox 360 game save. Now, what you're going to need is a dummy game save. I'm going to cut to the PS3 right now, and I'll get back to this video in a second. Alright, everybody. By what I mean by a dummy save is actually make a brand new save. See, I'm level 1. This is a brand new save. There's nothing here. Alright, this is a dumb save. So, Not a dumb save, but a dummy save. You know what I'm saying. Alright, quit the game. Make sure it saves because you're going to need to put this in the USB stick. Which I'm going to show you right now as soon as it's done saving. Alright, it's saved and everything, so what I'm going to do is quit the game. Oh, it takes forever! Now, at this point, I'm going to save Data Utility. And I'm going to find the save I just did. It should be up top. Alright, see, it's, let's do this. Alright, we're going to copy this to the USB device. Sorry, this is an old USB stick and it takes forever to copy, so bear with it. Well, y'all get the point. I'm copying it to the USB stick and I'll pop back on the computer. Peace. Alright, I'm now back on the PC with my USB stick in there. What you're going to need to do next is open Brute Force. Now once Brute Force is open, you're going to have to decrypt that file you just did. So my file is 1355, so I want to click that right there. And I want to decrypt it. Now to show you all, this is my level 1 Necromancer I just created. I'm going to open up another Gib Dater. And I'm going to open it. Open. Go to PS3. Open. See, gauge, micromancer, level one, zero experience, everything is just, you know, it's raw, just the dummy save file right here. Now, I'm going to keep this folder decrypted right now, okay? What I'm going to do now is go to this give editor and see where it says platform 360. I'm going to change it to PS3, okay? Now you gotta notice everything in here is just like the dummy save file, but this is actually an XP file, so I'm gonna show you right now. I'm going into raw. I'm going into 
resource, I mean region game save stages. Now look at this. Game stage one is at 490, okay? 999, 999. Okay, this all the way down. This is a modded game save. Alright. Okay, now, let's press OK on this. Let's show you how that works. Now you're going to save it. Now I'm going to save the file in 1355, the dummy game save I just made. Okay? Press yes. Okay. So now it's a PSG file. Now I'm going to exit out of that. Now I'm going to encrypt. See? I want to encrypt this. Do you want to encrypt selected files? Yes. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut back over to a PS3 to show you how this works. Give me one second. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. I picked this save right here just to show you all the proof of concept that this does work without the need of resigning any game save files or anything. All you have to do is make a dummy game save and it will work. Now, I'm going to prove this was the Xbox 360 save once I search the cabinet. You see, level 490. This was the same save I showed y'all earlier in the video, the Xbox 360 save. I'm level 1. Now, look, I'm level 43, okay? This was a save. This is how easy it is. This will work with PS3 saves and PC saves, okay? If you're going to do this on the PS3, all you need to do is open the Brute Force, decrypt, open the Gibb Editor, and do the same steps I showed you. Just save the file back into your dummy save file and it will work. This works with any save PC, PS3, or Xbox 360. Okay? This I'm putting this video out here for my PS3 users that say they can't do nothing, nothing ever works for PS3, PS3 always gets put behind. No. We can do this, there's just not information on how to do it. People don't give the information out. Which that's what I'm going to do. And you know, hell, this Sunday instead of doing the legendary Sunday. I will do actually a level up Sunday, alright? <laughs> That's what we'll do. But you gotta be level one because this ain't gonna work for you level one because you know we have to finish the actual stories together so we both have to come in as a level one. Alright, that's my little tutorial video. Hope y'all enjoyed it and I know I might get flamed or whatever for this video, but whatever man. Peace out, that's my video.